Okay, let's do a brief introduction to Python TCB sockets. So I have a directory here, and let's create a couple of empty files. So I can do a, a copy on, uh, we're gonna make a uh, Oracle that, uh, uh, addition Oracle that answers math questions, just addition questions. So the Oracle.py, and I'll press Control Z, close that. I'll do copy con, and then I'll have a seeker of mathematical truth. And I'll do a control Z. So this is um, just creates empty files. And I like empty files because it makes it easier for me to just right click and then open with notepad plus plus. All right, so I got this one right here. Um, and let's also open this one as well. So I got two little tabs, I got Oracle and my seeker. Okay, so what I first wanna do is the Oracle needs to import, so I'll, this is the seeker, isn't it? The Oracle needs to, um, let's go with my addition, Oracle, and it needs to import socket. All right. Uh, I also need to decide which IP address I'm going to bind to. So I'll do IP ADR and it's going to be just the empty string because, well, I'm just going to bind to all interfaces. And um, you need a port number. So I'm going to do my port number be 1234. It has to be a port number above the 1024 in the top area. Otherwise, it will need to have some kind of administrative privileges to bind. Um, that's normally what you need to remember. Then I need to open my or create my my socket. So it's a socket dot socket, and I need to pass it it's the internet protocol. So it's AF INET, which will give me my IPv4, and it's a socket sock stream. So sock stream is my TCP stream. <clears throat> then I want to bind to that, well, I'm going to bind to this, well, bind the IP address and the port number to it so I can start listening on this interface right here. So S bind, and I'll pass it a tuple of the IP address, which is the empty set, and my port number. And this tuple gets passed in, and it binds to it, and this will allow me to then start listening. All right. Now I'm going to create a while loop. So while true, so it's an infinite while loop. And I want to listen for one. Listen, there we go, listen. And then if I receive something, so this listen will sit there and wait until something comes in, and I'm going to get my connection and my uh, address for communicating back, and it's going to come to me from that socket as I accept it. All right, then I want to figure out who it is that's talking to me. So I'm going to print that out. So print, so who is it? It's going to be the IP address at the port number is seeking wisdom. All right, now I'm going to pass it the address pieces are there, a little tuple. Okay. And um, so I'm going to be doing addition. So I want to add things up. And before I can get an answer, I need to need to break things apart. And I need to figure out what's coming and how to add it up together. But what I want to do is start with an answer of, if I answer correctly, of zero. So the answer is, let's do a. We'll pay it. We got a string because we want to play with strings more. All right. Now I want to start receiving stuff. Um, so while true. Let's see. We want to get my data. So my data from the connection. And we're going to receive. And we're going to receive uh, up to 1,024. That's a nice good number. Um, should be good. And if we don't receive data, we just want to break out 
because that means we're probably at the end of receiving the data. So if not data break, that'll take us out of this while loop and then we'll be waiting for more information to come in. All right, now if I receive the data, the data is probably gonna be encoded. So I'm gonna be encoding with UTF-8 just so it can work well. So I wanna decode it. So my data equals data dot decode and it's going to be UTF-8. All right, so I'm gonna, basically I'm gonna be converting the to a string so you know what's going on. All right, now I wanna split that string. So I got the two numbers, num1 and num2. So I'm expecting a string sent over that's gonna have a number space, another number, I'm going to add them together. So data dot uh, split, split in the space. So I'm going to break apart the, uh, string, so I should probably put a space there. All right, break apart the string. Okay, now I want to add these two together. So my answer, is going to be equal to, and the answer is going to be a string, because we want to keep things as strings. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to typecast them as string, whatever I pass over here. And inside of this, I'm going to add the two numbers together. So it's going to be uh, num1 and num2, but num1 and num2 are both currently strings. So I have to convert them first into integers. So I'll do int, int num1 plus the int of num2 and then I'll add those together and then I'll get my answer and then I'll convert it into a string. All right, so now I've got my answer as a string. So I probably want to make sure I have some feedback on the server side so I can see what's going on. So do print. Um, so that person was seeking wisdom up here. Now, um, hmm. Percent s plus percent s equals percent s. So the first two will be num1 and num2, and the last will be the answer. So I'll print that out. I need to pass in the variables right here. Num1, num2, and uh, my answer. And all these are strings right now, num1, num2, and the answer are all strings. So I just print that out. Okay, so that will tell us what's going on. Then I want to take my data and I want to convert it back into UTF-8. So my data is going to be the answer. So I'll do my data equals answer dot encode into UTF-8. So I'll convert that to UTF-8. And then I want to send my data. So I got my connection still. And I want to send all data. And that's it. I send it off. We're good. Now, if at any point the answer is zero, so that means that when I added the numbers together, the answer became to zero, then I want to break out of this so that I can have some way to exit out without doing anything weird. So the if answer, and now remember the answer is a string. If so it's a zero in quotes, then I want to break. That'll get them out of that while loop. And then at this point, I just tell it that the, the Oracle is quitting. So do print um, the addition Oracle is starting to meditate. Okay, maybe not meditate, but that's fine. All right, so I can save that. Now I want to figure out my seeker of truth. So over here, I'm going to create my seeker. Seeker of additional truth. All right, so I want to import uh, my socket. And um, additionally, I also want to import sys because I want to grab stuff from the uh, 
command line. So the server in this case is going to be, um, you could pass this over as part of the command line or something else, but I'm going to do local host because I just want to locally link to it. And the port number was 1234. And I'm going to get my first number and second number both from the uh, command line. So num1 equals sys.argv and it is in argv1 and num2 is sys.argv2. Okay, now I want to create my socket same as the server. So socket socket and once again it's a socket dot af i net for regular ipv4 sockets and these are tcp sockets so socket stream and socket connect we want to connect to my server and so the server would be server and the port number. And then I'm going to create my, my data request. <clears throat> so, um, let's see, I want to pass number one and number two, both as a string. So my request equals, um, s space percent s and I'm going to pass over num1 and num2 creates the request I want to then turn this into data so I'll call it data equals request and I'll encode it with the utf8 so now my data is ready to send so s send all my data over to the server and then I want to get data back so my new data equals uh, s re receive receive my data and I'll receive up to 120 well let's do 124 after that and I'm gonna take this data I'm gonna decode it so my answer equals my data decode UTF eight and then I have my answer. So now I'll print out the answer. Print Oracle says percent s plus percent s equals percent s and I will pass these variables in here num one num two and answer. Alright so if I did everything correctly then we should be good to go. All right. Let's pull up a command prompt and I'll start my server. So that's Oracle. It's running. Now I get another one right here and I will start up my seeker and I'll pass it two numbers, one and two. All right. So we can see that it says that this IP address at this port is seeking wisdom. One plus two equals three. It sends it across and then this one responds as Oracle says one plus two equals three. Um, the Oracle is still listening. I can pass it other numbers. It gives me another one. I can pass other things over. It says other ones. And then eventually I can do something like a zero plus zero comes up with zero and then the addition oracle is starting to meditate and we can see that this is how the sockets are created you can see the oracle socket or the oracle right here you can see the seeker right here it's all pretty simple all you need to do is just change the ip addresses of the well the server make sure your firewall is on the way and you can do it across the network and that's what you need to do to set up TCP sockets using Python.